we heard about Donald Trump in the political news so frequently, and most people have reasons why Donald Trump is not a good candidate for president or king of the United States. Today, I am giving my views on why I do not recommend Donald Trump as the next president or the next king of the United States. The first charge against Donald Trump is that he is with copyright slash patent slash trademark laws. The reason why Trump uses bullish pro-intellectual property actions is that Trump wants the money, the infinite power, and the infinite glory so he can be more important than anybody else. And so he can put the pawns into this honorable non-existence. And it is similar to the game Monopoly. The reason why pro-intellectual property actions are a business malpractice and an act of bullying is that pro-intellectual property actions destroy opportunities of free creativity and of sharing public information with one another, thus destroying community building and thus destroying community trust. And pro-intellectual property actions should be a felony. If I was an entrepreneur, I would declare public domain licenses to my works so every competitor may use them for their businesses and slash war for their publications, thus sharing, thus community building, and thus no fighting over ownership of rights. And I am trying to be a role model of sharing by being anti-intellectual property so other people can be changed from being pro-intellectual property to being anti-intellectual property. The second charge against Donald Trump is that his products are overpriced. Who wants to buy Trump steaks to buy Trump water and to buy other Trump products for ridiculous overpriced prices. I will not buy those Trump products for ridiculous overpriced prices. I think that Trump is going to monopolize every single business in the United States when he becomes president of the United States. And monopolizing is about control. If I was an entrepreneur, I would not overcharge people for my playing cards, for my other game products or for my leotards. 
the third charge against Donald Trump is the Trump University scandal. Trump University is similar to any other school because education from each school is not absolute except mathematics. And because schools do not prepare students for the real world. The truth is that business strategies are not absolute because there is luck in business strategies. I believe that educators lie to the students about students' potentials and about the information that the students have been taught by going into the real world. When you go into the real world, the lessons that you learned during your studying can work against you. The fourth charge against Donald Trump is threats against the Mexican and against other countries. I think that Trump will be enforcing forced suicide on the Mexicans by paying for the wall on the Mexican slash U.S. border and by not welcoming Mexicans into the United States with strict misery. Why do we have to respect ridiculous, hopeless authority that leads to our self destruction? Trump is going to put tariffs on products outside of the United States so people who are outside of the United States will have to pay the tariff fees. I believe that Trump is the next Jakai because he banned Jorge Ramos out of the press conference. If you do not know who Jakai is, Google Jakai. C H A C A L. On Sabado Gigante. Part 2 will continue next time.